Amistad families, we serve others and we pursue excellence. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. We want to welcome all our NBC family. We want to uh, welcome all our visitors and all of you that are joining us by audio and video. Amen. All we ask you to do is prepare yourself. God has something for you. Amen. Amen. So get a hold of him. You know, say, hey, I need you right now. I need you. Amen. Not just when you hurt him, but each and every day we need him. You know, he says he never leaves us, no forsaken. So, you know, the problem's not with him. The problem is with us. We got to stay connected. Amen. Amen. We got to have a relationship. Amen. Ooh, praise God. And we're going to be talking about he lives. Amen. Ooh, before we get any further, <clears throat> grab your Bible, soldier of yeah. God, Amen. and uh, let's make this declaration together. Here's mine. Where's yours? Here we go. Ooh, this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be talking the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. I guarantee you the Bible talks about the battlefield is the mind. So we got to renew it with the word of God. If you don't renew it, you know, you're going to fall. And you're going to you're gonna fail because you're not renewing your mind because that's what the enemy uses and that's what the world uses and man you're bombarded with negative things each and every day, every day. and you gotta focus and you gotta renew it with the word of god man and i'm gonna start thinking the way the bible tells me not the way the world says amen Woo, hallelujah you don't want to believe all them uh negative things amen i've got a couple of scripture breaks that i want to read at you so grab a hold, amen. I'm excited. I want you to be excited, amen. Let it rub on you. Bible says to stir yourself up, amen. Yes. Woo. Yes. You got a good cup of coffee, you know what? You put all whatever you put in there, and then you stir it up, amen. <laughs> you get a good stew going, you know, but you got to stir all them uh, uh, spices in there, amen. We, we, we got to renew ourselves with the things of God, yes. amen. Woo. Hallelujah. I don't need these. <laughs> yes. Praise God. It says, let God arise. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. You know what? When you let God arise, the word of God is going to flow from you. He says, out of your innermost being, rivers of living water is going to flow. Amen. I mean, it's good that you have the word of God in you, but you got to let it out. You got to release it. Amen. Yes. And when you release it, you know what? That spiritual world is going to hear. And man, them evil spirits are going to run from you. Yes. Says the Bible says, submit yourself to God, resist him, and he's going to flee from you. Amen. Woo, hallelujah, that means you're taking Amen. authority. So let God arise, let his enemy be scattered. Be scattered. Uh -huh. Be alert, be prepared. The next time enemy uh, Satan comes at you with all these cares, all these fears, all these doubts, all these uh, unbeliefs and condemnations and uh, distractions, be ready because he's, he don't give up. That's it. Amen. The Bible says he is a full-time devil. Oh, yeah. So we can't just be part-time. we got to be full-time ourselves. Amen. Mm -hmm. Be ready to fight back with the word. With the word. Amen. Yes. We don't fight flesh and blood. We fight a spiritual battle. Amen. And you can't attack it with the word or with words. I mean, with, uh, with, with the flesh. we got to get in the word. And we got to speak the word. Amen. Uh -huh. So speak faith-filled words. And in him, you are lifted up from your sins in him you are made to, to sit in heavenly places in him you are made the righteousness of god all these truths get down in your spirit know who you are in him in him you have powerful weapons against the attacks of the devil once you get the understanding of who you are in christ the whole life will be changed your whole life will be changed the truth will set you free. free. We're going yeah. to be talking about the truth because the truth is going to set you free. You win with him. <laughs> Amen. You're on God's winning team. But you know what? You got to fight the spiritual battle with the word of God. Speak faithful words. Quit talking what you used to talk. And quit talking to please people. Speak what the word of God says and please him. Amen. This is what the word of God says. See yourself the way he sees you, not the way people see you. That's it. Amen. Woo. Watch your words, watch your actions. Yeah. Woo. Praise God, man, that blessed me. I don't know about you, but you know, I'm ready to be blessed. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one's called God Pleaser. <laughs> <laughs> be more concerned with what God thinks about you than what people think about you. Right. Be a God Pleaser, not a people yeah. Pleaser. God never 
told you to impress people only to love them. Yeah. Don't confuse a command to love with a disease to please. Ooh, <laughs> man, you, you, you need to write good. that down. Amen. You need to write that down mm -hmm. and read it every day. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'll, I'll say it to you again. It says, be more concerned. Be a God pleaser. Be more concerned with, with, with what God thinks about you and not what people think about you. Mm -hmm. Be a God pleaser, not a people pleaser. Amen. Amen. God never told you to impress people only mm -hmm. to love them. For God so loved the world. Yes. And we're to be imitators of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Love people. Amen. Don't confuse the command, a command to love with a disease to please. Because that's what we want to do. We always want to please and get on people's good side. Mm. Amen. Well, why don't we get on God's side? Amen. Yes. Woo, we win. With Amen. Him, we win. Yeah. Without okay. Him, we lose. Amen. Amen. Man, they bless you. Yeah. They bless me, man. I, yeah. My socks are gone, man. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. I, am, I got one more for you, and then we, we can get with the message. Amen. Hallelujah. It says, always with you. He lives, and he says, the Bible, he says, he's always with you. Yes. He never leaves you nor forsake you. Mm -hmm. So again, the problem is not with him. The problem is with us. We got to get yeah. us straight. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. says, when you feel alone, remember God has promised his presence. Mm -hmm. He is always with you. Don't be afraid that he uh, has not given you a spirit of fear. He says, whatever you go Know that he is always there. Wherever you go, know that he's always there. Mm -hmm. He will stay with you even after everybody is leaving. Oh, yeah. And you know they're going to leave you. Amen. <laughs> you know, <laughs> when, that, when that booze is gone and the drug is gone, man, they're going to leave you quick. Mm -hmm. When the money is gone, they're going to leave you, man. Yes. You can't help me anymore. You can't do nothing for me anymore they're gone okay so guess what hey ever since i got met jesus <laughs> ever since i accepted jesus you know what i got new friends the old friends <laughs> my enemies <laughs> were against me and using me amen so guess what that's what the enemy uses he uses people also that are against god yeah but yep. when i accepted jesus you know what he gave me new friends Amen. amen and these friends are there with you at all times amen yeah. hallelujah thank you lord so are you excited yes <laughs> hallelujah well he lives amen we're talking about he lives listen to this don't remember him once a year he lives you know all we think about is easter resurrection sunday no he lives don't think about him just that once a year or as we need him yeah that's what we do a lot of times you know we only Call on him, you know, as we need him. But think about him every day. Every day. He lives every day. So guess yeah. what? He's there every day. Every day he wants to fellowship with you. He wants to have relationship with you. We got to let him in and we got to fellowship with him every chance we get. Amen. Listen, first Thessalonians 518 should be on there on there, Carmen. It says every situation, this is from the Amplified, says, in every situation, no matter what the circumstance. And there's going to be circumstances. Amen. He says, be thankful and continue. Give thanks to God for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Amen. It says in King James, says, in everything, give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. Give him thanks. Amen. But you got to get right with him and spend time with him. Spend time with him. You know, if you spend time with the world, you're going to be acting like the world. So if you want to be more like him, get time in the, in the word, study the word, amen, and start speaking the word, amen, and you're going to be more like him. The Bible tells us in Ephesians 5, 7, 1 and 2, he says to be imitators of him, imitate him. He's our best, he's our best uh, role model, amen. There's a lot of role models out there, but you know, you don't want to be like them, amen. So praise God. So he lives, man, I wanted to thank the praise team because they let us in a song that I love so much. He says, because he lives, because he lives, we can have victory on a daily basis and spend time with him daily. Yeah. He said, because he lives, I can face tomorrow. You know what? I'm going to be with him today, but I'm going to be with him tomorrow. He says, because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Yeah. Amen. All fear is, is gone. Amen. 
Praise God. He says, because he lives, he holds the future. Mm -hmm. I don't have to fear. I, don't, I know he holds the future because he lived. Life is worth the living. Amen. Life is worth the living. <laughs> Why? Because he lives. Amen. Life is worth the living. Because he, his truth changes our lives and affects our future. Amen. Amen. And I can count on him. I can trust him. Amen. Not the world and not anything else man <laughs> because i know it's scripture and i know it's his word and i can go to his word and stand on this amen Woo, hallelujah somebody gonna say well this this and this i said well is that scripture will it stand no no well somebody said it well <laughs> that's not the word of god so i'm gonna go with what the word of god says it amen. says because he lives i can face tomorrow amen not only today but tomorrow i can face tomorrow's because he lives, all fear is gone. You know what? The Bible says to walk, step out in faith and not in fear. Amen. If you're not walking in, in, in fear, in faith, you're going to walk in fear. Yep. And if you're in fear, you're not going to walk too much. Because I'm going to be afraid. It's going, you're going to be afraid because I know he holds the future. He holds my future. Amen. You can yeah. personalize that. And life is worth the living just because he lives. You know what? <laughs> I don't want to hurt myself or kill myself or, or do anything negative to myself. Why? Because he holds the future. Yes. And life is worth the living. You know yeah. what? If you go by the reports of the world, you're going to hear all these negative things. And you know what? I say, mm -hmm. you, I don't want to have to go through this. You know, I can just do away with myself and I don't have to live with this. No, well, you no. know what? That's the beginning of a negative thing. Yes. That's the beginning because you ain't going to go up. You're going to go down. And you don't want to go down. You want to go up. Amen. So let's get ourselves right with Amen. what the word of God says. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. John 3.16. Keep going. Let me see what we have. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world. We're talking about people. Again, you can't get away from people. Everywhere you go, you, you there's people. You go somewhere for pleasure, and there's people there. <laughs> You go somewhere to go to the park, there's people there. You go to the store, there's people there. You go to the doctor, there's people there. Yeah. Doesn't matter where you go. <laughs> Sometimes you can't even go to the bathroom because there's people all around you. So <laughs> you can't get away from people. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Amen. That whosoever, I'm a whosoever, <laughs> believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. Amen. So even if you do away with yourself, guess what? It's only the beginning of a negative world. That's it. Amen. But if you wait and you do and you go with him, you know, you're going to have an everlasting life mm -hmm. for eternity. Amen. Yes. Woo, hallelujah. Thank John 3, 16. Keep going. Yes. Man, this is good. Yeah. Got uh, several uh, right up there for you. John 8, uh, 32. John 8, 32 says, in, in UK James says, the truth shall make you free. Then Jesus said to his, those Jews who believe in him, mm -hmm. if you abide in my word and my word about, uh, and my word are, and my word is in you, you are my disciples indeed, yes. and you shall know the truth and the truth will make you free. Yes. Some word says make you and some word wow. says that he will set you, set you free. Amen. Yeah. The Amplified says that John 8, 31, 32 says, uh, the truth again the truth will make you free he says so Jesus was saying to his Jew to, to the Jews who had, had believed him if you abide in my word continually obeying my teachings and yeah. live in accordance with them then you are truly my disciples uh -huh. and 32 says and you know you will. and you will know uh -huh. the truth regarding salvation and the truth will set you free from the penalty of oh, sin. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah, yeah. man. That's a lot. But you know, yes, it is. that's Woo. what we need to do. We need, we need to know the truth. And what is the yeah. truth? The word of God. Amen. But we have to know it. You know, if you go work somewhere or if you go somewhere, you know that it, <laughs> the highway patrol man was going to stop you because you was breaking the law. <laughs> Did you know that you were speeding? Did you know the speed limit? <laughs> yes. But you was going over the speed limit. Mm -hmm. We need to know what the truth says. We need yes. to know what the word of God says. Yes. So when the world or somebody tries to tell you different, you say, wait a minute. Mm 
is that scriptural? No, it's not scriptural. So I'm going to go with what the truth said yes. because the truth is going to set me That's free. It. That's it. Amen. The enemy, the world wants to hold you down. Yes. The truth is going to set you free. I yes. say, God, ah, we can't let people, we can't let the world mm -hmm. keep us down. Amen. We need to be a light for That's Jesus. It. Amen. And we need to shine in this dark world. That's Amen. It. Woo, come on now. <laughs> Listen, go to the next one. Listen, this is, well, just right there. This is uh, 1 John 5, 11 and 12. And I've got it written down twice for you here. In the New King James, again, in the Amplified, it says, This is the testimony that God has given us eternal life. And this is the life in His Son. Son, you see Son in caps, that's Jesus. He who has the Son has life. He yes. who does not have the Son of God does not have life. Amen. And the Amplified says, and the testimony is this, God has given us eternal life. We all already possess it. And this is, life is in His Son, resulting in our uh, spiritual completeness and eternal uh, companionship with Him. Amen. And uh, 12 says, He has the Son, He who has the Son, yes. by accepting Him as Lord and Savior, has life. That is eternal. He yes. who does not have the Son of God by personal faith mm -hmm. does not have the life. Amen. And see what we wrote at the bottom here? It says, if you know Jesus, you know life. Mm -hmm. But know Jesus, know life. No life. <laughs> Amen. Man, you can't get no plainer than that. Ooh, hallelujah. Praise Amen. God. Thank you, Lord. So know the word, know the truth, and be victorious in him. Amen. He has given us victory. We can have victory in Jesus each and every day. Yes. Amen. But we got to know the word and, and the word's got to be in us so it can come out of us. Amen. Woo. Sometimes we learn the wrong things and say the wrong things and we just spit it out. And you know, just because it pop in your head don't mean it's got to pop out of your right. mouth. You're asking, whoop, mm. stop. Used to do that. None no more. None no more. Yeah. <laughs> listen, listen, listen to this. Doesn't matter what the circumstances, it doesn't matter what the situation, doesn't matter what the surroundings, mm -hmm. the sickness or disorder look like. Doesn't matter what the odds look like. How many of you remember the Red Sea? Oh, yeah. hmm? Moses says, <laughs> Lord help me. <laughs> I got a Red Sea. Mm -hmm. I can't cross that. <laughs> and I've got the Egyptian army mm -hmm. right behind me. Right on the I need your help. The odds are against me. God took care of it, okay? He'll do it yes. for you also. Yes. Amen. You're a child of God. He'll do it for you. He parted the Red Sea and they walked on plain water. I mean, dry water. Dry, I dry. mean, dry, dry ground, dry. excuse me. <laughs> dry <laughs> water. <laughs> what about the walls of Jericho? They said it was so thick. They had uh, chariot races around it. It was so thick. Man, man, man could not knock it down. It was impossible. Odds were against them. But you know what? God gave uh, uh, Joshua. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, God gave Joshua the plan. He's the general. Yes. But God gave him a plan and said, put the blazers up front. Mm -hmm. yes, <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> We're going to fight, man. How are we going? <laughs> well, they praised. And you know what? Uh, Their walls come down. And yes. they walked across. Amen. Yes. I mean, they were most, I mean, they just crumbled down. Mm -hmm. Amen. They were gone. Woo, hallelujah. Just a few. Lion's den. Man, they were going to throw uh, Daniel in the lion's den. And you know them lions are hungry and they're ready to eat, eat him up. <laughs> Amen. But man, he prayed and them, them, them jaws were shut. <laughs> Amen. So you know what? Regardless of what the situation is, when you pray, God's going to take care of it. But you got to stand your ground and you got to step out in faith. Amen. Woo. Man, so what about the little boy with the five loaves and the two fish? Who would have thunk it? Yeah. <laughs> that during this big meeting, Jesus tells his disciples, go. He said, we got to feed them, so you got to send them home. Uh, we can't feed, uh, man, 5,000 plus people. <laughs> send them home. He says, no, go out and see what they have. Mm-hmm. He's telling us, man, how big my God is. My God yes. is bigger than any 
situation, whatever the circumstance, whatever the situations, whatever the surroundings, it doesn't matter. He went. He already knew. <laughs> he was going to see what what the report is going to be. Yeah. <laughs> Who's reported? He's going to believe. This is what the report of the Lord says. They went and found the little boy. With Only the little boy is willing to part with his lunch. You know, most little kids don't want to give you nothing. Yeah. <laughs> this little boy participated. You know, his mom sent him out there with his lunch. Yes. But you know what? He was willing to share and give up. What about you? Are you willing to give? He mm -hmm. says, give and it shall be given unto yeah. you. I'm sure he was blessed after that. Yes. Amen. Even more over yes. and above. He shared. And you know, the disciples, they're so smart, you know. <laughs> I'm sure they say, you know, we're going to show them this. Five, lo five loaves and two fish. You know he's going to say, wow, we can't do nothing with that. Just send them home. No, he says, oh, man, that's great. Mm -hmm. He took and blessed it. You know what? And yes. they fed everybody. And everybody was full. And they still had so many baskets to full. Twelve baskets, Twelve baskets full. Mm -hmm. Left over from the five loaves and the two fish. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. So <laughs> we got to stop limiting God. Yes. He's able to meet the need. Mm -hmm. Don't think. It's just because you think you can't do it, he can do it. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Uh, just just a few just a few what about Elijah with the uh, 500 uh, prophets of Baal that he went against you know and, and God showed himself there you know or they say well he's going to do this you know no he didn't God proved himself again amen hallelujah lady with the issue of blood and so many times there were so many healings took place you know people that couldn't walk people that couldn't see and God came through, amen. So yes. know that you can count on God each and every time. Yes, not just once in a while. Amen. And even don't let somebody tell you or your mind renew your mind because your mind's gonna tell you, He don't want to spend time with me. Mm -hmm. He don't want to do nothing for me. Mm -hmm. That's not God speaking. For God so loved you that he gave his son up. Amen. That's it. Listen, Jesus' ability is not affected by our circumstance. That's it. Amen. God, our God is bigger and limitless. So don't put limits on Him. That's what we need. We, we start thinking like the world and put limits on Him. We don't, we don't, we don't do that. Psalms 118.24 says what? Should be on the this screen. Is this is the day. The Lord has made. I, some scripture says we, I say, I say I, Jose, will rejoice and be glad in it. You know, but you know, a lot of people are, are moved by the weather, you know. So, oh, we're going to have a tornado. We're going to have a hurricane. We're going to have a snow. It's going to be so sunny today, you know. And I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> you can't do that. He says, rejoice and be glad in it. Mm -hmm. Even if I got to stay in, I'm going to spend time with him. Yeah. And I'm going to pray for those that need prayer. Amen. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I may not be able to go across the oceans, you know, or go across wherever, be wherever. But I can pray, be there in prayer. Yes. And I could pray. Amen. We could pray. This is the day the Lord has made. Amen. Says we will rejoice and be glad be in it. Glad Each and every day. Not just once in a while. But not just when things are going so great for oh, you. You know. Woo, man. No. Each and every day. Mm -hmm. Come on now. It says magnify him and, and not the problem. That's and it. not the circumstance. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because we, we, we do this all the time. If you're not thinking and renewing your mind with the word of God, guess what? We're going to start, oh my God. Yeah. And we're going to magnify the problem again. Yes. Oh, the circumstance, you know. Mm -hmm. No. We're going to magnify him. Jesus has already paid it all. He's yes. paid, is paid in full. Yes. For God so loved the world that he sacrificed Jesus for us. Amen. So we have victory in Jesus. Amen. You can say that each and every day before, mm -hmm. hey, you know what? Before I go meet out them giants out there, they better look out because I'm coming. <laughs> and I'm ready for them. Amen. I'm built up. I'm stirred up. Yes. And when they see you coming, they're going to run. <laughs> Amen. So victory is mine. You say that. Confess it. Say it. And press on, child of God. Yes. Amen. You know who's with me? <laughs> mm -hmm. God is with me. Mm -hmm. Wherever I go. So you know what? You devils look out. <laughs> <laughs> or you giants, whatever you call yourself. Mm -hmm. The first John five, four and five. Keep going. Uh, New King James says, For whoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is a victory that has overcome the world. 
Our faith. Amen. Our faith. Verse 5 says, Who is he who overcomes the world but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? Amen. The Amplified says, For everyone born of God is, is victorious and overcomes the world. Mm -hmm. And this is the victory that has conquered and overcomes the world. Our continuing persistence, faith in Jesus, the Son of God. The 5 says, who is the one who is victorious and overcomes the world? It is the one who believes that uh, and recognizes the fact that Jesus is the Son of God. Yes. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. The Bible yes. says, know the truth is going to set you free. That's it. Amen. Woo. Know that you are victorious. Amen. Whoever, well, whatever's coming against you, wait a minute. I'm renewing my mind. Mm -hmm. Amen. I just heard this. And you know what? People are going to come again. People are going to come and they're going to try to drag you into their oh, storms. Yeah. You know, you say, wait a minute. <laughs> Greater is he that sent me than he that sent the world. I'm going to bring him into my peace. Because yes, I am having peace over this situation. He told his disciples last week, we talked about this. He says, we're going to the other side. Mm -hmm. He already spoke the word. Yes. We're going to the other side. Mm -hmm. Regardless of how many storms pop up today. Or regardless of what the weather happens to be today. Right. He says we're going to the other side. We're going to do this. This is going to happen. Mm -hmm. So regardless of what pops up. So you know what? It's peace be still. That's it. I'm speaking a word over this situation. And it's going to change. Submit yourself to God. Resist the devil. And he's got to flee. He's yes. got to go and bring all the bad yes. stuff with him. Go Take all the bad stuff with him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. If you think you're fighting a losing battle, fear not. For you have victory in Jesus. Amen. Amen. You have victory in Jesus because he's the truth. And the truth is going to set us free. Stand on his victory. Amen. His word is truth. Amen. Word Remember that you fight. A good fight of faith. Yes. And again, if you never heard this before, I'll tell you now. But you can go to Ephesians 6, uh, 10 through 11, through, excuse me, Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. And it talks about putting the whole armor of God. You notice yes. it says whole. That means yeah. all, of it. all of it. You know, when I used to be in the military, I put all my uniform on each yeah. and every day. I didn't put just part of my uniform oh, on. If you're going to play football, you put all your outfit on. You know yes, why? Yes, because yes. you're going to need it. Because you're going to get hit. Yes, yes. <laughs> or you're going to hit somebody mm -hmm. and you need all your uniform on. Yes. Amen. <laughs> but it says put the whole armor of God on. Amen. And I told you, I think I told you last week and I told you before, this armor is meant for you pressing on because yeah. all the protection is to the front, not to the back. <laughs> None of God's people turn around and, and run and be afraid. He's not giving us a spirit of fear. But a power of strength and of a sound mind. Amen. Yeah. So we're going to move forward. He says, press on. He yeah. didn't say run. <laughs> That's it. Turn around and run. Quit. You know. Mm -hmm. No. He says to press on. I gave you the scripture so you can go read it. But it talks about. It says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and power of his might. It says, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Yes. And verse uh, 12 says this. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. And that's what we try to do. We see physically, we see with our eyes, and we see people, we see things. That's not what you're fighting against. Yes, it says you're fighting against, you're not fighting, you're not fighting against flesh and blood. You're fighting against principalities, against powers, against rules of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wicked uh, and of wickedness in higher heavenly places. Yes, Therefore, take on the whole armor of God yes. that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and heaven done all the stand says stand and it tells you how to put each and every, each and every one of them on okay. amen so you go there and you check it out amen praise god if you feel the cares the worries the anxieties the defeats it remember one thing philippians 4 and 6 keep going philippians 4 and 6 says new living translation i like this translation it says don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. He mm -hmm. didn't say pray about some things. He yeah. says pray about everything. everything. Mm -hmm. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Again, we start off with the scripture that says in 1 Thessalonians 5.18, it says, In every situation, no matter what the circumstance, be thankful and continue giving thanks to God for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. 
Mm -hmm. Amen. So you know what? Just thank him for all he's done. Yes. Amen. And uh, First Peter uh, five six and six through eight in New Living Translation says, "Therefore humble yourself under the mighty hand of yes. God, that He may exalt you in due time, time, casting all your cares upon Him, for He cares about you or for you." It says, "Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about." Like a war lion seeking who he may devour. Mm. We got to be careful. Yep. Because he's listening. And he's watching. Yep. And he's hearing the words you're saying. Remember death and life are, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Are the words yep. you speak. So he's listening. And when you speak the negative things. You open in the door. He just, he's just going to walk yep. in. How did that happen? Well you just let it slip. And you uh -huh. spoke it. Amen. So he said wait father. Forgive me. Amen. Confess. Some of us, we've been running too long. <laughs> we've been away too long from Father's house. You know, we want to do our own thing, but it's time. It caught up with us, you know. And the world is just tearing you up, you know. So it's time to say, Father, <laughs> I've sinned against you. Come in my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And you know what? Some of us, we need to do this. We need to renew our, our, our relationship with Him. And come back home, you know. And quit running from the things of God. Or... Just say, you know, he's already know he already knows the worst about you and loves you the most. Mm -hmm. So it's okay to go to him and confess and come back, get yourself right with him and come back. And you know what he's gonna say? He says he's gonna say, Get up, dust yourself, and press on. I'm not finished with you. I've mm -hmm. got a job for you. I got a mission for you. Yeah. You know, get up and press on. That's what he's gonna say. Amen. I forgive you. He said, if he forgives and forgets, you need to do the same yeah. thing. Yeah. Because the enemy is going to use it, people are going to use it and bring it against you mm -hmm. and try to hold it against you and keep you in the uh, be a prisoner of your past. No, yeah. let it go, release it. It's forgiven, it's forgotten, and you got to press on. He's got a mission for you, and he's, this, is, this is the day the Lord has made. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it and press on and do what God wants me to do. Amen. Amen. And you can do this. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. I'm excited. There you are. <laughs> keep going. <laughs> 2 Timothy 1 and 7 says what? We know this. For God has not given Hosea a spirit of fear, uh -huh. but a power of love and of a sound mind. Personalize it. Write on your write on yeah. your Bible. You know, put your name on there. You know, yeah. highlight it. You know, if you can't do that, throw it away and get you one you can write on, yeah. you know. <laughs> but personalize it. You know, it's me and him. We have a relationship. Yes. Amen. So I'm going to write. I'm going to put my name everywhere I can. Yeah. God is not given us a spirit of fear but a power loving of a sound mind amen. so god has not given Hosea a spirit of fear mm -hmm. amen you know what you take it on and you try to side with it you know and just let him ride mm -hmm. carmen go all the way to the end you know where i'm talking about mm -hmm. right here <laughs> the enemy comes the bible well i've got the scripture too john 10 10 but it says never give the devil a ride you know, you entertain some thoughts, you know, mm. and the devil wants to jump in, you know, uh -huh. he wants to ride. And you know, when you entertain it and you take it for a ride, you know, mm -hmm. it says why? Because he always wants to drive. drive. And then it. he wants to be in control. Go to the next one. Mr. Wick, check mm -hmm. this out. <laughs> Cowboy Wisdom <laughs> says never give the devil a ride. He would always wants the reins. Yeah. He wants the reins. What he wants to do? He wants to. He wants to be in control. Mm -hmm. Amen. He wants to control your life. Mm -hmm. So, don't give him a ride. Yeah. You know, say, "Oh, I know you. I know who you are." And you know, he'll send people. Mm -hmm. So be careful. Amen. Yeah. Don't give him a ride. That's, That's not. It. This is not a good thing. Mm -hmm. Ooh, hallelujah. Praise go to God. go to the next one. The next one. There we go. Says when you turn your worries into worship, God will turn your battles into blessings. blessings. Yes. Amen. Oh man, you need Thank to know you. this, and you need to do this all the time. Mm -hmm. it says, cast your cares on the Lord. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, man, it's going to be a bad day. No, this is day Lord is made. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. Oh man, you letting all these cares come on you. I say, oh no, 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 no. I'm going to take all these cares, all these worries. And turn them into worship. Thank you, Lord, for giving me a new day to serve you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Yes. Amen. Whatever it may be. It says, He will turn your battles into blessings. Yes. Ooh, hallelujah. You know, when you see that, 
and you step out and you're full of God, man, them devils see you coming, man. They're going to say, I'm submitted to God. I resist you, and they're going to flee from you. Amen. They don't want nothing to do with you. You know what Pastor Shook used to say? It's another bad day for the devil. Another bad day for the devil. That's yeah. right. That's what you got to say. Thank you, Lord, for this day. This is the day he's given me. But you know what? It's a good day for me and God. Yes. Yeah, but it's gonna. It's a bad day for the devil. Yes, it Woo, is. Hallelujah. <laughs> Jesus paid the full price, and he you, he's your sure victory. Yeah. Amen. He's your sure victory. Uh, first uh, Corinthians 5, 7. Uh, 15, 57, and 58. Go go back to those. Amen. Praise God. There we go. Easy to read version says this. 57. But we thank God who gives us the victory through yes. our Lord Jesus Christ. 58. So my dear brothers and sisters, stand strong. Don't let anything change you. Always give yourself fully to the work of the Lord. And mm -hmm. you that... Uh, your work in the Lord is never wasted time. You know, that's, that's what you need to know. Know that I'm doing this unto the Lord mm -hmm. and you doing it unto him is never wasted time. That's it. Amen. Because some of us, we just feel like, well, nobody's watching. Nobody's here. Nobody's doing it. So it's just going to waste my time. No, if you're doing it unto him, it's mm -hmm. never wasted time. That's it. Amen. That's and the Amplified says, but thanks be to God who gives us the victory yes. as conquerors through the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Therefore, uh, my beloved brothers and sisters, be, uh, be steadfast, immovable, always, always exceeding God. in the work of the Lord, always doing your best and doing more than is needed. Yes. Be continually aware that you are that your labor, even to the point of exhaustion, is in the Lord and not futile nor wasted. It is never without purpose. That's it. Man, you need to know this so that you yes. know, Lord, I'm doing this unto you. Hallelujah. And you're going to be blessed. Yes. Amen. Because you're doing it unto him. It's yes. not wasted time. That's it. Amen. Woo. Man, man, that's a mouthful. But you know what? Stand steadfast, immovable, always excelling in the word of the Lord, always doing your best yeah. and doing more than is needed. Yeah. Be continually aware that your labor, even to the point of exhaustion, mm -hmm. is the Lord. It is not futile nor wasted. It is never without purpose. That's it. Oh, man. That's good. I've got my mind made up. But yeah. you know what? People are going to try to change that. And the enemy is going to put some thoughts in the battlefield of the mind and mm -hmm. say, why are you doing this? Mm -hmm. You know, or he's going to tell you to do a halfway job because mm -hmm. nobody's watching and nobody cares. Mm -hmm. I've already settled it. I know what I'm doing this unto you. Yes. Amen. He's going to be here regardless if nobody shows up. Mm -hmm. Still, I did it unto him and I did it out of faith and yeah. he's going to bless you. Praise because God. that's not waste of time. That's it. Amen. It is never without purpose. Mm -hmm. Ooh, man. I am blessed. I'm Hallelujah. excited. Amen. God cannot lie. If he says it, he'll do it. That's it. Count on it. it. <laughs> Remind yourself the victory is yours. Amen. Each and every day. Not just once in a while, but each and every day. I have victory in Jesus each and every day. Ooh. Amen. We're not fighting. We're not fighting for victory. We're fighting from victory. Yes. Because we're on God's winning team. Yes. Amen. Yes. If you don't know, <laughs> you're on God's winning team. Mm -hmm. So praise God because of what Jesus has already done for yes. us. Amen. So have victory in Jesus each and every day. Mm -hmm. Amen. Listen to this. Thank you, Lord. We all have a choice to make daily. Mm -hmm. Trust in Jesus, His Word, and live in victory or trust in the world and the flesh and live in defeat mm. you have a choice nobody can do it for you but That's you it. have a choice you live for for, for for Jesus and live in victory or you live for the world and the, and the flesh and the devil and live in defeat amen Ooh, man. and John 10 10 says we already know it but Carmen's going to put it on the board for us John 10, 10 says, <laughs> says, says the thief, the devil. Yeah. 
does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy says jesus says i have come that they might have life yes. that you might have life i can put my name there that jose could have life and have it more abundantly That's it. amen Woo. so listen to this the devil is busy always yeah. working hard to try to stop you yeah and he's going to use anything or anybody yeah his mission is to steal kill destroy yes anxieties worries tears troubles mm -hmm. problems distractions sin mm. there's no little sin or no big sin sin is sin yeah, what well, was only a little sin mm. sin is sin mm. <laughs> amen and jesus said jesus is busy interceding for us he said he's seated at the right hand of the father a place of honor yes. a place of authority yes. he's seated there interceding inter mm. interceding for us wanting to bless you mm -hmm. show favor his mission is that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Mm -hmm. So you know what? I'm standing on the word mm -hmm. and it's going to set me free from yes. all the negative stuff the yes. world brings at you. Amen. Amen. So, in closing, we always, we are, we already, uh, we are, we already uh, seen this, but I'll say it anyway. It says Jesus defeated the devil. The devils are defeated. Foe, remind him. Take authority, stop him. He'll yeah. still use the same old tricks on all of God's children uh -huh. if you allow him. Amen. If you let him. Mm -hmm. He listen, he is persistent, he is diligent, mm -hmm. and he is full time. Oh yeah. So we can be right. part time believers. That's it. We gotta stand and be full time for Amen. Jesus all the time. Amen. Woo. Praise God. So don't let the devil get the upper hand again. Don't let the devil don't give never it says never give the devil a ride because he'll want to drive That's and yeah you know what he's going to drive you to the wrong place and you don't want that amen mm. hallelujah in, uh first john 4 4 says this you are of god little children and have overcome them because greater is he mm. that is in you than he, he that is, is in the world, world. amen first yeah. john 4 4 uh new king james so mm. you are of God, Jose, mm. and you have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Mm -hmm. He is with us. We got to keep the word yes. in us and we got to stay full. Yes. Amen. We are his light, but yes. we got to stay full so we can be lived all the time. Amen. Amen. Otherwise, if you run out, man, it's not his fault. It's our fault. Mm -hmm. And we're, if, you, if you run out and you run low, the world's going to come in and creep in. Amen. So. Woo. Oh, thank you, so give, <laughs> Jesus gives us the victory when when he went to the cross all this was provided for us amen mm -hmm. so praise God so in closing yeah. <laughs> thank you, Lord. just know because he lives we can have victory in him mm -hmm. each and every day amen so praise God hallelujah thank you Lord that you learned something yes. yeah. <laughs> me too mm -hmm. if, you, if you don't get it I'll take it I'll take it all <laughs> amen so if you're watching, listening, just know you've run long enough. Amen. Right. Uh, some of us have accepted him, and but you know we've sinned and let the enemy come in. So you know what? It's time to come back to Father. Amen. Yes. All you need to do is confess and Amen. say, Lord, I've sinned against you. Thank come you. in my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And he Amen. will. And you know, he's again, he's going to tell you, say, you know what? <laughs> get up and press on mm -hmm. and we need to go a bible-based church where we can learn the word yes. where we can be encouraged by the fellow believers around yeah. us you know and get in the word and study the word and meditate on the word yes. and get it in us so we can start coming out of us yeah. amen yeah. Woo, some of us you know don't feel well <laughs> and uh the enemy tries to come and put sickness on you uh, you know cause uh uh, malfunctions and things that happen in you so you know what all you need to do is say that's not what the word is the word of God says by Jesus Christ I am healed yes. so I'm confessing his healing over me in mm -hmm. Jesus name everything functioning well in Jesus name yes. and sickness yes. you must go in Jesus name I don't receive you it's not for me Jesus has paid the price so I receive my healing yes. from head to toe total healing and total restoration in Jesus precious name amen yes. and it's time to give
So go to our website, it should be on your screen there. It's at NBCBigBen.com. Hit that donate button. Uh, if you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas 79843. And for Cash App, just go to New Beginners Church of the Big Band. God loves you and we love you. And remember, He lives. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Love you.